welcome to series one, volume two of my WordPress tutorials. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over one of the most fundamental parts of using WordPress, and basically one of the reasons it was created in the first place. So first of all, what is a blog? Well, a blog is actually, in really short words, a time-stamped collection of writings or articles of information. For example, you may have come across a blog in the past for uh, a school blog, which might have various topics and categories and dates, and the information is structured in one way or another, and it's typically sortable or searchable, meaning you can look for certain things and type in words and search for certain names or places and things like that. So it's important you understand that the very basic concept of a blog is just more or less information, sometimes with pictures, with date stamps that tell you when it was posted. Normally, chronological is pretty common for a blog. And then categorized as well, meaning, um, you know, like a tree blog might have different varieties of trees or uh, different regions of the world that would include articles about different types of trees. And really, that's getting pretty specific, but a blog is a very general term for any organized collection of information. So I hope that clears up if you had any uh, question about what a blog might be. That's, in a nutshell, what it is. So in this tutorial, we're going to actually create our first post, which is, in essence, the foundation of really what a blog is. It's made up of posts. And in your administrative console, again, you will see this overwhelming number of controls and different things. But we're going to, again, keep this very simple. And we have two options here. From the dashboard, and, and just a side note, I'm going to refer to this area as the administrative console or the dashboard. And on the user side, I'm going to refer to this, this is what your website visitors are going to see. I'm going to refer to this as the user end, user side, or possibly you might throw in a fancy word, user interface. So just so you know, if I switch back and forth, I'm kind of using some of these words loosely and interchangeably and trying to keep things very simple. So what I'm going to do, um, I have two, back to what I was saying, I have two options. Write your first blog post. And I can also alternatively go over here under post and just hover over this. I don't even have to click anything and click add new. And that's what I'm going to do for this example. I'm going to click add new. And you're presented with a very basic page. It might be somewhat self-explanatory. Enter a title. And in this box is a description. You will notice there are more controls on the right hand column most of which I'm not going to cover in this tutorial because it's going into a little more intermediate area but for right now we're just going to continue on this post I'm going to move the period okay there's my description now, as you can see, again, there's lots of controls over here, and we're not going to mess with those right now. But what we're going to do, we're going to click on the preview link. And what this does is this allows you to actually check your work before it's published to the live site. So this is pretty important when you're working on a live website because you generally don't want to publish an, uh, a post unless you've had a chance to kind of look what it, see what it's going to look like, make sure everything looks good, and it's pretty much exactly how you want it. So what I'm going to do is click Preview. And that will open up a new page. And from that, you will see the post I just created. And again, this is exactly how the post will look on your website. So rest assured, you get what you ordered using this tool. As you can see, somebody can reply on everything in this box. So this actually looks good to me. And I'm actually going to close this out, go back to the admin console. And now that everything looks good, I'm going to just click the publish button. 
And this is actually going to save my blog post to the live site. As you can see, post published. And I'm going to refresh my home page. And there's my post. And that is how simple it is to add a post. Thanks for watching. And my next tutorials are going to cover some of the technical points of these options and putting to use images and some decoration for the blog itself. So look forward to that and talk to you soon. Thanks for watching.